Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on uh, automation, so using Pro Program within Pro Engineer. Uh, and what we're going to be doing here is basically automating the uh, uh, manipulation and creation of uh, various features within a, a angle block part within Pro Engineer. So uh, this part itself is basically fairly simple. It's got about uh, 10, 12 different features, um, and one thing to note is there is a little bit of planning as far as uh, how you create this part. A little bit of forethought so uh, it will uh, regenerate predict predictably. So that hole itself uh, was created off this datum curve that allows the, uh, the actual protrusion and the hole to be driven properly. Uh, so if, uh, if you do have any problems with Pro Program, uh, typically it's, it's more on the side of uh, the model itself needed to be uh, created a certain way to uh, regenerate pred predictably. Um, what uh, we'll first do is uh, let's go ahead and repaint this model and we'll take a look at the uh, parameters. So parameters basically allow you to write uh, uh, or create uh, values, uh, type, different types of parameters um, that allow you to drive the uh, the decisions within this part, so well, decision making that is. So the first one we're going to create is uh, it's called shaft underscore angle. It's going to be a uh, a number, and we'll give it a value of 30. So that's going to be that angle that that shaft uh, is. Uh, the next one we'll create uh, is called mounting underscore holes. Uh, this will be a yes no uh, parameter. So do you either want holes or not? Uh, we'll set it to no, uh, and then uh, finally we'll add another one here called uh, chamfer underscore slide. So uh, this is basically going to be another yes, no that allows you to specify whether you have a chamfer on the underslide of this part. So uh, the first thing we did is basically created three parameters. Um, the next thing that we're going to uh, actually want to do is edit the program file. So the program file is basically uh, uh, <laughs> Kind of the recipe for creating this part basically shows you all of the uh, features that uh, are used to create this and then you can also put in uh, uh, input statements um, and then also uh, relations so input statements uh, i just basically cut and pasted some in here but uh, that allows me to uh, have pro engineer prompt you for specific things uh, upon regeneration so uh, things like uh, please enter the shaft angle, uh, do you want mounting holes, um, and then also do you want chamfers on the sliders. So uh, basically input uh, is going to follow a specific format where you're specifying the parameter um, and then uh, what type of parameter is and then uh, the actual text or what pro engineer will prompt you for. So uh, the M holes is basically do you want mounting holes, uh, S chamfer, uh, is basically, do you want a chamfer on the slider? So uh, you can get uh, you know creative in this aspect of it as far as what uh, uh, Pro Engineer asks you for. Uh, once again, this is the program file, so uh, it uh, will. Uh, it's basically the the recipe for all the features that are used to to create this part. Uh, we'll also need to input a, a few relations in here, so uh, we can add additional relations or relationships between uh, uh, some of the uh, parameters and maybe some of the other uh, uh, parameters that we've created within the model. So uh, once again, I'm going to cut and paste a few in here. Uh, the angle of rotation equals a shaft angle. Uh, the mounting underscore holes equals M holes. And then chamfer underscore slide equals S chamfer. So I needed uh, a couple additional chamfers or uh, additional parameters uh, for, to take from the uh, design model into this program. And that'll be a little more uh, evident as far as why we need to do that once uh, we go through here. Um, so the uh, the angle of rotation, what you'll need to do is, uh, within the tutor tutorial guide itself, find where these specific features are, are created. Um, and then we're going to uh, need to, put, to place in some text uh, to make some decisions. So I will say, if mounting holes is yes, so if the person says, yes, we want mounting holes, uh, go ahead and create these features. And then we'll need to go and find the uh, 
the end of that uh, feature creation and then uh, place an end if statement in there. So basically, Pro Engineer will only create those features in that uh, if end if statement if uh, somebody says, yes, I want holes. Uh, once again, with the chamfer, we'll do the, something similar around uh, this uh, initial number 16 feature, which is the chamfer. Uh, so we'll say uh, if chamfer underscore slide is set to yes, uh, then go ahead and create these, uh, this chamfer feature. Then we'll just need to go right after the end add and then put an end if statement there. So once again, we're just putting some basic logic in here to make some decisions for us depending upon what the person says or what they input. Uh, so go ahead and save those changes. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, say done return there. So it says, uh, do we want to incorporate some of those changes? Um, we can enter uh, the values in there. Um, and then go ahead and you'll see that uh, we select all the values. And then say done select. And then you'll notice the input. Uh, what Pro Engineer is asking for you is what you actually put into that program file. So do you want to mounting holes? No, no. And so you'll notice that it removed the mounting holes on the top there. And then it also removed the chamfer on the bottom. So now when you regenerate this part, um, basically you can specify uh, how you want to uh, regenerate it. And current values or enter or read from a file. Uh, so once again, we can just say select all and we'll enter these values. So uh, our shaft angle, maybe this time we want to uh, set it to 40. Uh, no mounting holes and uh, yes on the slider. Actually, we want mounting holes too. So uh, in this example, we've got those two mounting holes. Uh, and then we also have the chamfer on the bottom. So as you can see, it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool way to uh, quickly uh, add and modify geometry. Um, if you've got parts that uh, have some similarities between them, um, or if you create a, a part a lot, but uh, just want to automate the, the changing of that, uh, you can actually uh, also regenerate from a file. So you can uh, automatically create a text file that may have 50 parameters for changing it, and then it automatically regenerates all that. So uh, once again, it's a, a really nice way to uh, create geometry fast. Just have to make sure that uh, your model regenerates fairly predictably. So uh, next to uh, AU2 is actually uh, based on an assembly and swapping out components. So uh, go ahead and download uh, AU2 from uh, Frotech.